This week's topic is difficult to talk about because sometimes it can make me frustrated or bitter. This week's topic is about being called and not being called, particularly focusing on the not being called. That might sound a little confusing, so let me start with some scripture and then I'll explain. The angel of the Lord came and sat down under the oak in Ophir that belonged to Joash the Abrazite, where his son Gideon was threshing wheat in a wine press to keep it from the Midianites. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. But sir, Gideon replied, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are all his wonders that our fathers told us? When they said, Did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and put us into the hand of Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, Go in the strength that you have and save Israel out of Midian's hand. Am I not sending you? But Lord, Gideon asked, how can I save Israel? My clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my family. The Lord answered, I will be with you, and you will strike down all the Midianites together. Okay, so Gideon was hiding in a hole. He wasn't brave. In fact, he was the least brave of the least brave people. And then an angel comes to him and says, you are a mighty warrior. And he's like, what? I'm hiding in a hole. Maybe you didn't realize that. Is that how you feel? Because that's how I felt when I knew God was telling me to go. Being called to work overseas is a calling that God places on the hearts of some people. But working overseas is not the only way that people are called. The Lord puts godly teachers in our public schools, and that is a calling. The Lord gives special gifts to people, like people that can take care of those in nursing homes, and obeying that and using that gift is a calling. Working overseas is not the only way to answer his call. So, the part that's hard to talk about is the if-then that returning missionaries are constantly running into. If I was younger, then I would go. If I didn't have a mortgage, then I would go. If I didn't have kids, then I would go. If I had a better education, then I would go. I could make a list that lasts all day of the things that returning missionaries hear as to why people don't work overseas. And there's not really a polite way to say this, but they're all just excuses. The thing is, if God calls you, then you go. Circumstances like finances, age, family, they just don't matter to God and they're small details to Him. And returning missionaries, myself included, can give example after example of people that have come to the field regardless of these factors. And so when we hear these excuses, it leaves us feeling frustrated and bitter. If you've been called to work overseas and you're finding excuses, remember Gideon. Seriously talk to God about what he's asking you to do. If you haven't been called to work overseas, don't feel guilty about that. You have been called, just not to work overseas. So instead of saying things like, if this, then I would, maybe it's better to just leave it as, if God calls me to work overseas, then I will go. So when I come home, please keep in mind that I have a difficult time when people say, if, then. <laughs>